Mazda Familia 5th Generation, BF, 1985-1994. In January 1985, the 5th Generation Familia 323 featured many updates. It was available as a hatchback or sedan only for the first year, and wagon and cabriolet models were added in November 1985 and March 1986 respectively. In January 1987 a personal coup version with its own bodywork, the Tude, was added. In February 1987 the Familia range underwent a light facelift that included replacing the old E engines with a more modern B series. In some markets, such as Indonesia, the B engine continued to be installed after the facelift. The 1985 Familia's Bonda 4 laser twin sold in the Asia Pacific. The laser sedan and wagon were nearly identical to the Familia but with a Ford grille. By contrast a laser hatchback model, which was sold in the US as the Mercury Tracer used completely different panels from the Familias. This generation of the Familia Slash 323 was also available in a version with a turbocharged dock engine, with either front or four-wheel drive, producing 140 PS, 103 kilowatts. The 4WD version, sold in either a lightweight GT or fully optioned GTX grade, introduced in October 1985, saw some success in Rally's Group A category. A limited production Japanese-only homologation special, the 4WD GTA, appeared May 1988 and offered an additional 10 horsepower and viscous rear limited slip differential, similar to the later BG Familia. There was also a 1.7-liter diesel version available with 58 PS, 43 kilowatts, at 4,300 revolutions per minute and 112 Nm, 83 pounds-feet, at 2,800 revolutions per minute. It is an indirect injection engine, naturally aspirated. This generation was sold through the 1989 model year in the United States. The wagon, BW continued alongside the succeeding generation in most markets until 1994-95, and was later updated with a new grille and lights. The model remained in production in South Africa, as an entry-level model until 2003. It was also sold there as the Midge, the Sting, and as the Ford Donick. A locally designed pickup based on the familiar front end, called the Rustler was also produced, and sold as the Ford Bantam. From 1991 to 1994 Samcor also produced and sold the 323 with the 2.0 liters 16-valve Doc Fay engine from the Mazda 626 and budged it 200i. Along with the 2.0 liters 16-valve Doc engine there were upgrades to the suspension and braking system. Still, the 1.6-liter GTA homologation car was more powerful. This South African-built model was also sold in Australia between 1989 and 1991 with minor changes, the most noticeable one being the front indicators having a clear color rather than the normal amber. These models were labeled BF as opposed to the next generation's BG, 